Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, my name is Tanika and in today's video I am going to be going over my top 10 products from Priceline. If you've been around my channel for a while, you will probably be able to guess all of the items on this list. But if you are new here, I love testing out Australian drugstore makeup. There are some real winners that are very affordable and accessible and I want to share them with you. So if you're excited for this video, give it a thumbs up and if you're new here, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. First up, I have the L'Oreal Infallible More Than Concealer. Now this, oh my god, I love it. If you love a full coverage concealer, this is where it's at. For so long, people were trying to dupe the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and you know, people are throwing out all these recommendations and they just weren't it. This is your dupe for the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. It is so full coverage and it actually has a pretty decent shade range. I use the shade 322 Ivory. There is a more fair shade as well. I'll do a swatch comparison for you in just a sec. But if you love that flawless, full coverage under eye, you will love this concealer. It does retail for about $30, so it's quite pricey for the drugstore, but it's always on sale and that's when I like to pick it up. So this shade here is 320 Porcelain and this is 322 Ivory. As I said, I use this shade here. I just feel as though it's not as stark and bright on my under eye. It blends into my skin tone well and I just get that amazing full coverage look that I'm after. If you do have more dry under eyes, this probably won't be the concealer for you because it is more of a thick consistency. But if that's not a problem for you and you haven't tried this yet, what are you doing? Go get it now. The next product is one that I have been using for years and it is just an absolute staple in my collection and that is the Rimmel Stay Matte Pressed Powder. I use the shade 001 Transparent. When I first got into makeup, I found that this was one of the only powders that was fair enough for my skin tone. I do believe it only comes in two or three shades, so not many, but it is a beautiful powder that actually sets your makeup in place all day. It does add a little bit of coverage, but not too much. It doesn't feel heavy on the skin at all. It is just a beautiful powder that does what it says it's going to do, and it's affordable. What more is there to love? Next is another product by Rimmel, and this is the Insta Fix and Go Setting Spray. Again, I have been using this for years. It is such a great affordable setting spray that does its damn job. It sets your makeup in place, it gets rid of that powdery finish, and it has a nice cucumber scent. <laughs> I feel like the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray has been one of the most popular makeup setting sprays on the market, but it's very expensive. And for someone like me who likes to use a setting spray every time I do my makeup, I just fly through it. So this is a much better option for me. Even though it has a fragrance, it's not an overwhelming scent. It's very very light and fresh. The pump on the bottle is great as well. It's not the most soft mist, but it's not extremely aggressive. I hate an aggressive spritz. Another spray that I love is the L'Oreal Shake and Glow, and this one is a luminous setting spray. So it's not going to set your makeup in place for longer, but it does add a beautiful sheen to your skin. So I talk about this all the time. I prefer to use full coverage, like long lasting makeup products and then add my glow as opposed to using glowy foundations because I feel as though the glowy products don't last as long on me. So I prefer to go long lasting makeup, set it in place and then add a glow on top. First thing about this is I love the packaging. It is so pretty with the pink and the little gold here. The mist on this is the best I have ever used. It is so gentle and it just feels relaxing and luxurious. It is so nice. I'll put some on now for you to see. I have a little bit of highlight on, but not much. See how it just adds that sheen? 
Oh my god, it is just so pretty. It doesn't disturb the makeup underneath either. I usually like to go in with my Rimmel spray first to lock everything in place. And then this. I only like to apply it on the sides of my face as well, just to add that glow exactly where I want it. It is just such a beautiful spray. It doesn't look overly oily or greasy on the skin either. It just gives the perfect amount of glow, and I have repurchased this over and over and over again. Next, I have some foundations I want to talk about, and first up is the Maybelline Superstay Full Coverage Foundation. If you love full coverage, this foundation is going to give it to you. I find at the drugstore, mostly, a lot of products that say full coverage aren't really full coverage, but this one stands up to its claims. It is a beautiful foundation. I like to use two pumps and I get absolutely flawless coverage. I use the shade 03 True Ivory. So this is the fairest shade available in the Australian range. It's still a smidge too dark, but I can get away with it. If you are fairer than me, you can pick up fairer shades from eBay. I do have them in my drawer as well, and they go pretty light. But if you're looking to get it from Priceline, this is the fairest shade. The finish of this foundation is beautiful as well. I would say it's more of a demi-matte, so even though it has that slightly matte finish, it's still got a bit of hydration, which is really nice. It's super long lasting on me. I can wear it all day. I find it's quite heat resistant as well. So if you get a little bit sweaty, it's not going to break through and destroy your makeup, which <laughs> really grinds my gears. If you can find a shade for you, I highly recommend picking this one up. It is a beautiful foundation for all those full coverage lovers. Next is the L'Oreal True Match Foundation, and I have the shade 0.5N Porcelain. This foundation actually comes in quite a huge shade range. I'm pretty sure there's around 40 shades, which is excellent. This is one of the most fair shades in the range, and what I love about this is that they put undertones on all of the shades, which is so helpful and isn't that common amongst the drugstore. I feel like it's starting to become more of a thing, but it is so helpful when you're trying to find your shade. The finish of this foundation is beautiful. It's a very lightweight formula and just leaves your skin looking nice and fresh and slightly glowy. Even though it's not a matte finish, I find it is still very long lasting on me. Not as like heat and sweat proof as the Maybelline, but it still does a really good job. And it's just nice for those days where you still want coverage, but you want to look a bit more fresh. <laughs> Here is what it looks like swatched. As you can see, as I move my hand around, it does have a bit of a glow to it. It is just the most stunning foundation and I think it would work for most skin types as well. This is one of those foundations that I have repurchased over and over again because it performs every time. I absolutely love it. Next I have some brow products and first up is the Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara and this is in the shade 01 Blondie Brows. I have been using this for years. It used to be talked about a lot as being a dupe for the Benefit Gimme Brow. Again, what I love about these products is that they just work. They do what they say they're gonna do. So what I love about this is it has a nice tiny little wand so you can be very precise. You might be able to see on it as well that it actually has some fibers in there. So not only does it tint your brows, it adds texture and makes them look more full, which I really need because I have very sparse blonde brows and this just works. It makes my brows look so much fuller and bushier. And then for a brow pencil, I have the Maybelline Brow Ultra Slim and this is in the shade Blonde. I have gone through so many of these pencils recently. So this one comes with a spoolie on one end and then a tiny micro tip pencil on the other. What I love about these micro tip brow pencils is that you can be really precise and they're just so easy to use. The formula of this one is that perfect 
combination of creamy but long lasting. So it glides onto the skin very easily. You don't have to tug or pull. You can just draw tiny little strokes and you're going to get that color payoff. But it's very long lasting. This is what it looks like swatched. As you can see, it's more of a cool tone blonde, which I prefer for my brows. If you go in heavily, it does, like the color does build up, but also if you go in with a very light hand, you can get a nice natural look. Next, I have a mascara, and this is the Maybelline Falsies Lash Lift. I have loved Maybelline mascaras for so long. I feel like they are one of the best at the drugstore and a lot of the different ones that I've tried, they always perform. But this, it is like next level. In a mascara, I look for something that is going to give me length and also volume. I don't like it when my lashes look clumped together. I want them to be separated, but still look nice and just like fluffy and luscious. <laughs> I'm not asking for that much, really. This mascara does it all. So this is what the wand looks like. These are my favorite kind of mascara wands. I like it when they're bigger and fluffier as opposed to like thin rubber wands. I don't like when a mascara is too wet. That's when I feel like my lashes start to clump together. This mascara is perfect as soon as you open it. It makes my lashes look so so long, it separates them, it gives them volume. It is just the best mascara that I have tried in a long time. And again, one that I've repurchased over and over again. I fly through this. And then the last product I wanna to mention today are the Astralis eyeshadow palettes. I have just a few here. I am so picky with drugstore eyeshadows. A lot of them are dry, chalky, they don't blend. And then you blame yourself and your technique when really it's the eyeshadow. These eyeshadows though are so creamy and they're pigmented and they blend really easily. They just work so beautifully. You don't have to put in that much effort because the formula is just amazing. I'm pretty sure the first palette was this one here, the Neutralize. So this is a warm toned palette. They all come with a mix of mattes and shimmers. I just can't rave about these enough. They have so many amazing color stories as well. This one here is the Mesmerize. They added in some glitters into this one. I don't... Hold please, posty. Okay, what was I saying? I think I was talking about the glitters. I don't like the glitter formula. I feel as though they're a bit too chunky and they're just not my favorite, but they're not in all the palettes. I think it might only be in this palette anyway. This one here is the Glamour palette, a really nice neutral. I love that you've got a lot of light tones and then a few deeper ones. And then this here is the Beach Days. Again, lots of neutrals with some fun pops of color. There are a few other palettes that I don't own, but really, this is enough. But if you are struggling with your eyeshadows and you are using cheaper eyeshadows, maybe try getting one of these. They're around $20 to $25. It will, like, your game will be stepped up. You will step up your eyeshadow game. You know what I'm trying to say. All right, well that is all for my top 10 products from Priceline video. If you enjoyed watching, please give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below letting me know what your favorite products from Priceline are. I do have a lot more, so if you wanna see a round two of this video, just let me know, because I'm sure I can gather some things. If you wanna watch more videos about affordable Australian drugstore makeup, then I will link some down below in the description box for you. If you aren't already, make sure you come and follow me over on Instagram and TikTok as well. I will have my handles down in the description box below. Thank you again all so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.